Next days of school will be the focus for state leaders trying to help in the aftermath of Florence. CBS 17's Holden Kerwicki joins us now live outside the General Assembly ahead of today's special session. And Holden, is there any relief in sight for schools that were forced to close during Florence? Well, Russ, that's a really good question. As we know, some schools along the coast have yet to reopen, while some schools here locally were forced to miss more than a week. So there's been a lot of uncertainty for parents, teachers, and even students. In a letter to the governor, House Speaker Tim Moore said that legislators would address that uncertainty and try to make appropriate accommodations for counties to manage their school calendar in the same way that the state did in the aftermath of Hurricane Matthew just a few years ago. In addition to answering the lingering questions about schools, our state leaders will be trying to clear up the legal and fiscal hurdles as they prepare to apply for a federal relief package for the damage caused by Florence. Governor Cooper recently spoke about the need to quickly get aid to those most in need. To have seen homes and businesses and farms and churches underwater, you think about the people that each one of them represent, and you know that the despair that they feel, but it also makes me very determined to help. This special session is scheduled to last only one day, but there is a possibility that lawmakers reconvene next week. There is also a short session in November and then once again in January. Live in Raleigh, Holden Kerwicki, CBS 17 News.